We've got something tonight. Amen. The Lord gave it to us. Amen. The world may try to take it away, but they can't take it away. Amen. The enemy, amen, will try to destroy what you have, may try to even uh, cause you to question what you have, but don't you dare do it. Uh, you have a hope that is in Jesus Christ, uh, and it is a hope uh, that, that is greater than anything else. Uh, and somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. I'm so glad I've got what I've got. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that what I've got has got a hold of me Amen. too. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I'm not going to let go of it to, either. If you love the Lord, say I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus. 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 Praise You'd be so kind, Amen, to open up your Bible. Uh, Brother Jacob, the very first scripture that I, I have back there, if you'll go ahead and put that on the overhead real quick. Romans chapter 4 and verse 23. Amen. Romans chapter 4, verse 23. It says, Now it was not written for His sake alone that it was imputed to Him, but for us also. If I say, for us also. I need verse 24 and verse 25. Uh, if you can give that. All right. But for us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on Him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Amen. Somebody say, I'm a believer. Amen. Amen. Verse 25 says, Who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. Jesus died. For you and I. Amen. Jesus Amen. paid a price for all the bad things that we have done. Jesus paid the price for everybody. All we got to do is believe in what He did for us. Amen. Amen. Have the faith. Somebody say the faith. Faith. The faith. Amen. That the blood that was shed was shed for us and it paid a price. Amen. It covered our sins. We've got something to get excited excited about. Somebody say amen. 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 It was for us. Somebody say it's for me. It's for me. Amen. It was raised again for our justification. He died and he rose again for you and me. Amen. I'm sorry. I can't help but get excited about that. God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Because I know you may be a little bit tired, but I'm not. Hallelujah. Woo. Somebody say praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We've got a gift that God has given us. Amen. And what we need to do is put our faith and our trust in Him. We talked last week uh, and we've been studying the book of Romans. This book, it does us good to study this book. Remember, this book was written to a group of people who were already saved. They had already obeyed the gospel of Jesus Christ. There have been some problems in the church because it was was a diverse church. Uh, anytime you have a bunch of different people, you're going to have some problems. Uh, they had some Jews and some Gentiles in there, and these Jews had been raised Jews all their life. Uh, and they were trying to say, hey, these Gentile folks uh, need to start obeying a lot of the law. Uh, and, and not that there's anything wrong with the law, but they were saying you're going to have to obey the law to be saved. Uh, and that's where your salvation comes from. And Paul was right to let them know, hey, your salvation comes through one, and that's Jesus Christ. Amen. And all you've got to do is have the faith to believe in that salvation. When you have the faith and you obey that, everything's going to be alright. Hallelujah. Paul began to make a parallel between Abraham's faith and our faith faith. Amen. Between Abraham and between us. He said in Romans 4 and 17, Brother Jacob, if you can put that up there, Abraham, it says, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. And this was Abraham, the man who couldn't have children all the way up until he was a hundred years old before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead. Who quickens the dead? God. God. Jesus. God. Quickens the dead. He brings them to life. Uh, amen. Uh, not only physically, but I want you to know if someone is spiritually dead tonight, God can reach down and touch them and bring them back to where they need 
to be. And call it those things which be not as though they were. And somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Abraham before him whom he believed. Amen. Who quickeneth the dead. Now we in Romans 4 and 24, Jacob, if you'll put that up there. See, he's talking about Abraham there in verse 17. And now in Romans 4 and 24, he's talking about us. We're Christians. We're followers of Christ. Yes. We put on the name of Jesus. Who do we belong to? Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. But for us also, that's us. That's you and me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To whom it shall be imputed. Yes. And that means given to. That means put upon. It says if we believe on Him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Somebody say, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Amen. And then in Romans 4 and 22. Amen. Speaking of Abraham again. It says, and therefore it was imputed to Him for righteousness. Can you jump to verse 22 if you can, uh, Brother Jacob? If not, that's all right. Romans 4 and 22. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And therefore it was imputed to Him for righteousness. Amen. Amen. But it wasn't His righteousness. It was God's righteousness. God. Amen. And God's righteousness is given to us. There's nothing that we can do. Romans 4 and 25. There's nothing that we can do to be righteous. We just put our faith and our trust in God, obey His Word, and His righteousness is placed upon us. It says in Romans 4 and 25, who was delivered for our offenses, and was raised again for our justification. Yes. This Amen. is for us. Somebody say praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. There's nothing that I can do. I need to get excited about the fact. I need to get happy every day that I live. I know life may be bad and life may be hard. The bills may be piling up and your sweetheart might not be kissing you like they ought to be, but I want you to know, hey, you've got something better than all that. That that's something that's going to get you out of this old, dark, cold world. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We've got something to be excited about. Abraham's whole success was continually shown in that he had strong faith. I want this church to be full of people who have strong faith. Amen. 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 A faith that says, hey, I know God is more than able. When I pray it, when I believe it, God has already taken care of it. And it's got to be such a strong faith that if it, even if it doesn't happen at that moment, hey, I'm still believing that God is going to do it. That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If we need uh, Abraham's faith to receive his promise, uh, we must repeat that faith uh, that he had. We need to believe like he did. Hey, the, the, the Lord told him, I'm going to make you a daddy. Yes. Right. And even though it didn't happen, he kept on believing. It's going to happen. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. Amen. Amen. People say, oh, that's crazy. Uh, uh, that's just a crutch. Uh, or faith and religion, that's just a crutch. Uh, hey, if that's a crutch, uh, that's a crutch I'm going to walk with. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So I'm going to believe. Yes. Amen. We don't do anything to earn that promise or that gift. All we do is just simply believe in it. I'm going to believe it. Somebody say, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. So we've got to exert that faith in God. God is going to do it. I don't know what it is that you're praying about. We talked about it last Wednesday night. I don't know what it is that you're believing in. But first and foremost, I want you to know your salvation, if you believe in it and you obey it, everything's all right. Amen. If that trumpet sounds tonight, amen, you're going home. Amen. And somebody amen. say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We've got faith, and that makes us an heir of the promise. We've been washed in the blood. We are one of His children. We are blood-bought. We're a child of the King. We're an heir. That means we're an heir to the promise. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And both Abraham's faith and our faith involve resurrection.
dead. Uh, amen. We can't raise ourselves from the dead spiritually or physically, but if either one of them, if we need it, if we put our faith in God, it's going to happen. Uh, amen. amen. If you're dead, uh, spiritually speaking, and you don't have that right relationship uh, with God, all you got to do is obey His Word and believe it. Uh, amen. And you're going to be brought back to life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. But I can't raise myself from the dead. No, no. Spiritually or physically. And if I die tonight, amen, and I don't want you to cry over me if I do die. If, if I die, I want you to be shouting. Amen. Amen. Not, you know, that I'm not going to be around here anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want you to be shouting, amen, because you know, amen, I'm headed to a better place. Amen. amen. And, and I'm already finished with this tough, tough trial on this earth. It's done with, baby. And whether, rather, whether if I'm resting in Abraham's bosom or if I'm dancing on golden streets, it doesn't matter. I'm in a better place. Amen. amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. It's God, amen, who's going to raise me up from that ground or, or, or you up from that ground. And if we haven't gone, it's going to be the power of God when the Lord, when Gabriel blows that trumpet that lifts us out of this earth. Amen. 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 Faith in the operation of God saves us. Faith in God. There's an old song we used to sing that says, Just have faith. Have faith in God. Just have faith in God. That's it. All you got to do is have faith. That's it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Colossians 2, 11 and 12 says, In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. You see, under the Old Testament, uh, uh, what made them or marked them as God's people is they were circumcised. It was a fleshly circumcision. That's what marked them as God's people. Okay, But in the New Testament, it's not a circumcision of the flesh. It's not a circumcision of this physical body. It's made without hands and putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. We are buried with Him in baptism. This is what marks us and makes us one of His. We are identified by baptism, through baptism, by that blood being applied to our lives. He is right here is where it's at. Buried with Him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with Him through the faith. Everybody say the faith. The faith, the faith of the operation of God who hath raised Him from the dead. Amen. Amen. Somebody say praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. Amen. Romans 4 and 21 sums up the faith of Abraham. It says, And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, yes. he was able to perform what God has promised. See, that's why you need to know the Word of God. Mm -hmm. That's why I need to know the Word of God. Right? Yes. See, we don't know what all the promises are because we don't study the Word like we ought to. We don't know this Word like we ought to. Right? Amen. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was he was able also to perform. If God said it, that he can and he will do it. Amen. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 I want to tell you, God is good. Let me share a little testimony with you tonight. God takes care of us. Amen. Sunday afternoon, I left here. I was I enjoyed the service. It was a good service. I was ex excited about the power and the move of God. Went and put some gas in the church van. Uh, and I'm always very, very careful uh, and try to pay attention to everything. I left the gas station, got back here, uh, and, and something had happened. Uh, between, when I, after I pumped gas, uh, I had either dropped the uh, the church debit ATM card or I had left it laying on the pump and I normally I know I'm not uh, enough of a knucklehead to leave it laying on the pump so I'm just uh, thinking it fell out of my pocket uh, and so I get back to the church didn't know uh, that I had lost uh, uh, this card which could have been uh, a catastrophe uh, and I'm sitting here and that phone back there rings but it doesn't ring it just lights up uh, uh, and so I saw it lighting up and I answered it and this young man on the other uh, end of the line I said, hey, I've got your debit card here and I'm going to give it to the gas station attendant so that you can come and pick it up. God takes care of us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, that, that young man could have at least filled his tank up if he wanted to 
two and then throw it in the trash. But he didn't do that. He took it in. Hey, there's still good people out there in the world. Amen. And I have enough faith in God, even if I'm not as uh, uh, smart as I should be all the time, God's going to take care of me. Amen. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Because His Word says uh, He'll take care of us. And, and He does. And I thank God for it. You see, when God makes a promise, uh, we just need to put our faith in it and believe it. We need to be fully persuaded. Yes. Too many times we're right there in the middle. Well, God can. God may. I don't know. Right? I need to be fully persuaded. Yes. Yes. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Too many of us are right there in the middle. You need to get off the middle and get over there on the side where you're all the way persuaded. Right. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No matter what the circumstance looked like, Abraham believed that God's word was true. Paul's leading up to something. He is showing how we got saved. It was not by the law. And then later he explains that we do not grow through works and the law either, but by faith. We grow in faith. Yeah. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then as we go to Romans chapter 5, amen, and onward, these are key chapters in the whole book of Romans. You need to be reading this book. Yes. Amen. amen. If you come, if you go from service to service without picking up that Bible and, and looking at it, and I'm not talking about looking at the scriptures that everybody else posts on Facebook, but picking it up and, and reading it for yourself. Oh, I read the Word. I, I read so-and-so's post and so-and-so's post. And just because you liked all them posts doesn't mean uh, that you spent time in the Word. Right. Somebody say amen. 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 I like Facebook. It helps make me a better preacher. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, so here we are. Amen. It's, it's faith. Amen. And we need this Word. Amen. Romans 5 and 1. Praise God says Romans 5 and 21. 5 and 1, I'm sorry. Amen. It says, therefore, being justified by what? Faith. 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 We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You see, there was a division between God and man because of the sin that took place in the garden a long, long time ago. Right. Amen. But we're justified by faith. We have peace with God. That relationship is now right because Jesus Christ died for our sins. Amen. Amen. Yes, so we're not at war with God anymore. You see, I want you to know tonight, if you are not on God's side, unfortunately, even though He died for you and He would He would pay that, I mean, He would do it again and He would make everything all right right now, if you're not saved, you're at war or you're an enemy of God. Because you either belong to God or you belong to the devil. Right. It's cut and dry. Amen. And I know that that, that, get, that bothers people a little bit because we know a lot of good people who are, are just good, common, uh, uh, good, just good people. But I want you to know if they don't have Jesus living in their heart, unfortunately, they are an enemy because they're living contrary to God. Praise the Lord. And people say, oh, I love God, but you know, I just... No, you don't love God because Jesus said, if you love me, you will... Keep my commandments. Amen. Amen. That's, that's, that's what the Word says. Right? Hallelujah. Let me get my glasses on so I can see y'all real good. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Amen. Right? Amen. That's some good stuff right there. That's some stuff we need to... You know, I love God. And, and, and I might just... Uh, I know I don't have a lot of time, but we need to park it here. Yes, we have faith in God. That's what saved us is our faith. But now we have been saved and now we've fallen in love with Jesus. I mean, we've got to remember, you know, hey, I cannot walk contrary because if I love Him, I mean, I'm going to follow what He has said. I'm going to go the path that He has told me. I've had people tell me I love God and, and Pastor, I'm not really living for God right now, but I know one day uh, you know, I'm going to come back. I'm going to, oh, don't live like that. For right. one, you don't love God. Right? You might have an affection for Him, but it's not love. Amen. There's a difference between love and, and, and having a, an affection Amen. for something or someone. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
So now that we've been saved and we're justified, amen, we're no longer at war with God. We have peace, amen, and this peace came through Jesus Christ, amen, God manifest in the flesh, amen. This means due to what He accomplished for us on the cross, we have peace, amen. There's no other reason that we have peace but because what Jesus did on the cross for us. We have peace. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. Amen. Nothing else puts us at peace. Not going to church. Not go doing good things. That doesn't put us at, at peace. Only one thing makes peace with God. And that's faith in Jesus' death as being our deaths so that God can make us righteous. If you believe Jesus died in your place so that you can be saved from sin and made righteous and no amount of good deeds can save you, then you truly have peace with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to work because I am saved. But I don't have, you know, it's not the works that save me. Right. Somebody say amen. 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 I'm going to walk right uh, because I am saved. But walking right doesn't save me. Amen. Amen. You understand it? Amen. Somebody say, I got it. I got it. Amen. I've got it. I have peace with God. But now if I don't have peace with God, then wrath falls on those who are at odds with the Word. Right. And being at odds with Him is simply not believing that Christ died in your place and not living for Him. You are at odds with Him. Amen. I don't want to be at odds with God. I don't want to be at odds with this fact right here. I want to be right. And someone say amen. amen. we got to believe that Jesus died in our place so we'll be free from being in Adam. We are no longer in Adam. Everybody that is in Adam shall die. Amen. So we had to get out of Adam. We got out of Adam and we got into Jesus. Amen. I got out of the world and I got into the kingdom. Amen. Because 1 Corinthians 15 and 22 says, For as in Adam all die. So if you haven't got right to, according to the Word, you are going to die. Even so, in Christ shall all be made alive. I am in Christ. Amen. So I am alive. Yeah, alive. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. you got to get out of Adam and get into Jesus. Yeah. Uh, amen. In Romans 5, 3-5, it says, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. What? This is crazy. This is Paul. He said, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. I haven't seen, I haven't heard or seen too many people glorying in their problems or their tribulations. I've heard a lot of complaining. I've seen a lot of people being poor mouth. But we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Hallelujah. Your problems and the tough things and the but you know the tribulation that they were going through, folks. Mm -hmm. You know we've got it. We might have a tribulation. You know, uh, you know, all I have is ramen noodles to eat this week. You know, uh, you know, the light bill is going to be late, and I'm going to have to pay a, a late fee. You know, uh, uh, the cable got cut off because I did. You know, that's the kind of tribulations yeah. that we've got going on. Yeah. Their tribulation was if they stood up for Jesus Christ, they were going to be fed to lions. Yeah. If they continued to preach the gospel, they had a chance of losing their family. That's the kind of tribulation that. They were going yes, through. Right. And, and, and we don't even see anything like that, folks. Yes, right. We may see something like that uh, uh, in the near future, but I want you to know, uh, he said, hey, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. He was glad that they were going through some, some trouble and, and having some strife uh, because it was working something good in them. Amen. 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 Thank you all right now. If you've ever caused any problems or strife in my life, thank you for it. Because you help work patience in me. Amen. When your family starts giving you problems, start shouting. Hallelujah. It's working patience in me. When your neighbor is treating you bad and making you just fuss and, and want to cuss but you don't do it, start shouting. God's working something good 
praying me. Amen. Oh, you're not getting it like I want you to get it. Amen. Hallelujah. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience. You're an experienced saint of God. And experience works hope. Somebody say hope. 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 Praise God. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Man, that's good stuff right there. Amen. 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 That is good. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's better. Mm. That's better than a fried chicken dinner. And I love fried chicken. Hallelujah. It's a whole lot better. So this teaches us the scripture we just read, how Paul had victory. You know, he went through a bunch of junk. He spent most most of the, the scriptures that he wrote, he wrote while he was in prison. In prison. Wow. He had victory. Amen. See, we need to learn this stuff and we don't need to forget them. Just like Deuteronomy tells us, it needs to be like frontlets on our eyes. It needs to be on our doorpost. You know what frontlets are? You know, frontlets are the things that they put on horses. Right here. These are frontlets. Right here. Okay. Yeah. So you can't see what's over here or what's over here. That word needs to be like this. So when there's a bunch of garbage going on, uh, you can't look out and see those uh, that that garbage. You can look to the left and right, and you see the promises of God. Amen. Amen. That's good stuff. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tribulation works patience. Patience is endurance. Endurance and patience is necessary for experience. You want to be an experience? Well, I just want to be a saint of God. I don't know if I want to be an experienced saint of God. Hey. I want to be an experienced saint of God. Amen. 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 Because when he call, when the role is called up yonder, he's going to be calling for some experienced folks. Amen. Amen. He's not going to be calling uh, uh, for, for for no uh, you know little part timers. He's not going to be calling for apprentices. He's calling for people who are experienced. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, you, when, when the job place is looking for an experienced mechanic or an experienced this or that, they're not going to, to somebody who's green behind the ears and never worked. Hey, they're looking for somebody who is experienced. Folks, the kingdom needs some experienced people, some experienced warriors in it. So you need to stand up, step up, and fight this fight so that you do become experienced. Amen. 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 Somebody say amen. 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 So if we've got it, if we need experience, we need to start handling life circumstances and become skilled at, at, at these trials and these battles that we're going through. Right. Somebody say amen. 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 God handles it. Amen. When we put our faith in Him, God. Somebody say God is handling everything. God is handling you don't need to go frantic over your troubles. Amen. You don't need to go frantic over the circumstances of life. Start shouting. Amen. God's taking care of it. Amen. Experience gives hope. You see, once you go through all this junk and you're experienced and you're strong and you're making it through it, you you've got hope. Amen. Hey, I made it through all that garbage. I can make it through a little bit more. Amen. 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 Pastor, I don't know how long I'm going to have to go through this. Hey man, as I read the Bible, I see folks who went through some stuff for a long, long time. Right. You know, I, I, I look at Joseph and what he went through. It was 12 years from the time his brothers uh, uh, put him in, in, in the ground and sold him as a slave to the time that he was raised uh, as Potiphar's right hand man. 12 years of trials and 12 years of people lying against him. 12 years of him in and, in and out of prison. 12 years of bad things uh, going against him. His family lying and hating him. Right. 12 Years. Lord, I don't I don't know if I can last 12 years, but I, you know, if I have to, I'll do it. Amen. Hallelujah. But you go through this stuff and you have a hope. You've got a hope that I know God's going to take care of me. I mean, if I have to go through another day like this, God's going to help me make it through that day. 
Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, you don't lose hope if you're experienced in using faith. I won't lose hope. You have a character about you that's confident when it comes to God handling your problems. Amen. If I've got a problem, I know the answer's coming because God's an on-time God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, give the Lord a hand. Hope. No. Amen. When we doubt needs will be met, we lose hope. But we don't doubt, we hope. Amen. Experience means you're using strong faith. Hope means you know all is being taken care of by God. We need experience in being able to keep our minds on God and heaven throughout life's problems. Amen. Whatever's going on, I put my mind stayed on Jesus. Yes. It means it's there. It doesn't get moved. And, and I'll admit, sometimes I, I, I can't keep it stayed on Jesus. You know, because there's still a bunch of uh, flesh in here that I need help with. Uh, amen. So when things are... Um, let me stay. Keep that mind stayed on Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Is that all you know how to say? Yes, that's what i got to do to stay stayed on Him. Amen. Somebody Amen. say praise the Lord. Praise Amen. Amen. We need experience in being able to help keep our minds on God. Amen. We need to uh, picture an old saint with experience in faith. Amen. The saint is calm and assured that God is taking care of things despite the appearances. Amen. Don't worry, brothers and sisters. Everything's going to be all right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hope. Amen. Doubt will disappoint you, but I want you to know tonight, hope will not disappoint you. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 When you hope in God, you will not be let down. You know, as we go back to the scriptures, it's still up there. Amen. Hallelujah. And hope maketh not ashamed. Everyone say hope. Hope. Hope maketh not ashamed. Amen. What that means, amen, is we won't be disappointed. Hope here means disappointed. If you can be confident that God will pull you through anything, you will not be disappointed. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. I don't have to be disappointed. I mean, a lot of people, you might be disappointed, but I'm not going to be disappointed because I've got my hope in God. We need hope to get through life's troubles. Tribulation is where it began. So we're going to have tribulation. We're going to have problems. We're going to have a junk that goes on in our life. But this stuff works in us. Amen. Patience. Hallelujah. Experience. Hope. It's all good stuff. Right? Your problems are good stuff. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Troubles, yeah. amen. Tribulation or troubles help Paul get that kind of hope. Troubles forced him to forget about complaining. Amen. Troubles matured him. It gave him experience. And when you're spiritually mature, you can easily rest your mind so that you can hope. Amen. I don't have to worry about it. My hope is in God. Those who cannot hope are frantic in their minds. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? 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 You ever heard anybody say that before? What are we going to do? This is this is happening. That's happening. What are we going to do? We're going to put our hope in God. Amen. That's it. Amen. You know, your mind races when you're impatient. Impatient. The tribulation works patience in you. Amen. You cannot be victorious if you cannot even hope. I want to be victorious. And someone say amen. 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 Those who are defeated saints are those who lost hope. Amen. And you know, whenever you see yourself falling by the wayside, it is because you have lost hope. Don't lose hope. Amen. Someone say amen. 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 They forget about heaven and future glory. I cannot forget about heaven. Amen. This may be a bunch of junk going on right now, but I need to think about heaven. Amen. There was an old song that used to say, Heaven, city limits, almost home now. Amen. And we're almost, it's almost there. We are almost to that place. I mean, to where we say goodbye to this world. I mean, oh, we're almost there. You ever been on a long trip before? You know, and on your way back, uh, you know, sometimes it seems like, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's quicker going home than it does getting there. But if you're real, real tired coming back from a long, long journey, 
Sometimes uh, it's like, oh my goodness, we're not home yet. Are we home yet? You know, and, and then finally, when you see, you, you go over the hilltop and you say, hey man, we are almost there. And you see the city limit sign. Hey, I'm almost home. Folks, don't lose hope. We have a glory that awaits us. And someone say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hope, amen, is due to faith in God's Word. Amen. Maturity and experience keeps our minds open in trials and not shut and focused upon our problems. Amen. Romans 5 and 5 says, And hope maketh not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given to us. God already showed His love to us in the past by giving us the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you have the Holy Spirit, God has shown you a great love. I'm so glad that I've got the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I don't ever want to lose it. Someone say amen. We've got to realize the degree of love that God has for us. We're not disappointed in hoping for salvation since God gave us the Holy Ghost when we exerted proper faith. And then shed abroad is a past tense. And then because He did it back then, He showed His love for us. Amen. And the scripture says that Christ, while we were sinners, Christ died for us. That's how much love He has for us. And this is the last point uh, that I'll make right here. There's a lot more here. Go ahead and read Romans chapter 5. Uh, the rest of it uh, uh, tonight. Amen. Don't wait till tomorrow. Read it tonight. Uh, amen. Uh, you know, see, if He loved us uh, when we were sinners, uh, how much more does He love us now that we belong to Him? Amen. 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 That's right. He does. He loves us. You know, if He loved us enough to die for us when we were sinners, now that we've been washed and cleansed and His blood's been applied to us and now we belong to Him, it's a different kind of love. But it is a deeper and it's a greater love. And somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to read you two, four more scriptures here. It says, for when we, Romans 5, 6 through 8, it says, for when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commendeth His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Paul was saying, you know, for a good man, uh, uh, some people may step up and die for. Now, they won't die for a bad guy. But you know, for, for a good man, they'll step forward. They may step forward and, and die. But the Scripture says, while we were sinners, Christ died for us. For us. Amen. And then Romans 5, 9 and 10 says, Much more than being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through Him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of His Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Go ahead and stand your feet. Hallelujah. Praise God. We received an atonement, amen. We received, amen, so much more. We've got a hope, amen. We've got a hope in the future, but we also have a joy right now that comes through Jesus Christ. Amen. Folks, don't lose it. Amen. Put a smile on your face. Yes. Put, put, put that joy to work in your life. Amen. Put your mind on the Lord. Amen. And know that everything is going to be all right. Amen. Amen. One more time, let's give the Lord. If you believe in the hope, if you love Him. Don't worry. Amen. Just hold on to hope. Amen. And God's going to take care of it all.